Hi everyone, welcome back to Aim at Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. My name is Melissa Wilson, I'm a physician assistant, and today we're gonna to be talking about the treatment for stage two melanomas. So the first thing that we need to do is define what is a stage two melanoma. Melanomas that are stage two have a Breslow depth, which if you remember is how far into the dermis the melanoma goes. It's a physical measurement that tracks how far um, the melanoma is from the tippy tippy top down into the epi, uh, into the dermis. So melanomas that are stage two have a Breslow depth of 2.01 um, to four or four plus millimeters in depth. Um, the stage is broken further down into A, B, or C. Um, melanomas that are stage 2A um, would not be ulcerated and have a depth of 2.01 to 4 millimeters. If they're stage 2B, they can either be not ulcerated and have a Breslow depth of greater than 4 millimeters or ulcerated and have the similar 2.01 to 4 millimeters. Or stage 2C is really the worst of the stage 2 category, which is both ulcerated and deeper than 4 millimeters. So really stage 2 gets broken down into these subcategories to really define um, the prognosis and, and how much risk there is that this melanoma could potentially spread to the lymph nodes. So when you are looking at a pathologic stage, um, again with stage two, because it hasn't yet spread to the lymph nodes, it hasn't spread distantly, um, those still get defined as an N0 and M0. The T gets a little more complicated. It's broken, uh, stage two has anywhere from two to four, um, because two millimeters to four millimeters, that's the basic staging for the tumor sizes based on its Breslow depth. So, um, it can go anywhere from 2B all the way to 4B. Um, so what this means is it can have a 2.01 millimeters all the way down to above 4 um, millimeters. And again, those um, Ts get broken down into the different um, categories, whether they have ulceration or they don't have ulceration. You can see you know, these are uh, a little bit thinner ulcerated tumors all the way down to very um, deep ulcerated tumors. So they'll have you may see varying um, tumor stages in the pathologic stage here, but overall the clinical stage is assigned simply stage two, A, B, or C based upon these criteria, okay? So that's a little bit about what a stage two melanoma looks like on a pathology report or how you may be told um, what your stage is um, in particular. The treatment for stage two melanoma really, um, again, much like the melanoma in situ in stage one. Surgery is still the mainstay for treatment. Um, in this instance, the wide excision is going to be a little bit more extensive because the tumors in stage two tend to be a little deeper in that intermediate uh, you know, depth. Um, so the wide excision will have margins you'll see usually around two centimeters in all directions. Um, this is stage two tumors will definitely um, be recommended a sentinel lymph node because of their Breslow depth. They more than qualify the, the minimum requirements for checking the lymph nodes. But remember, stage two patients, um, this sentinel node will be negative. Um, in stage two B and C, so if you remember, stage two B and C have really deep tumors um, which may or may not be ulcerated. That means that they have a higher prognosis for spread. So they have, um, a higher incidence of being able to access those lymph nodes and blood vessels and really um, get out of the area. Now, even though the sentinel node is negative, what we've seen over time is these the stage two B and C categories actually had a higher risk of relapse um, when you look at their five and 10 year survival than some of the earlier stage three um, patients. So that really prompted um, melanoma specialists to look at why does that occur? Um, and so a clinical trial, very, very large with thousands of patients, um, clinical trial was done and they actually saw benefit from giving stage 2B and 2C melanoma patients adjuvant therapy um, in order to help prevent their melanoma from recurring. And so in stage 2B and 2C melanoma, your oncologist or treating physician may offer you adjuvant or preventative therapy. The only um, FDA approved drug 
for this in stage 2b and c is a drug called pembrolizumab which is otherwise known as Keytruda. Um, in this particular clinical trial the administration was one dose iv every six weeks for one year um, so that's how it's typically given in this setting um, so um, again if you are stage 2b or c your oncologist might in addition to surgery offer you adjuvant therapy um, there are also some clinical trials that are underway now using um, other agents um, in this prevention of stage 2b and c um, melanoma as well um, again stage 2 disease is really where you get these deeper tumors that have more access um, to the deeper structures in the dermis so they have a higher possibility of being able to spread um, they carry a risk of reoccurrence that is a little bit higher um, and so in addition to surgery again in these stage 2 b and c categories you may be offered adjuvant therapy based upon you know your other comorbidities the risk of reoccurrence your age so there are a lot of factors that oncologists will take into consideration um, when deciding whether or not adjuvant therapy for stage 2 b and c is really right for you um, so that prompts a, a bigger discussion with your treating team all right i hope that you learned a lot about stage 2 disease today and the treatment of that so if you have any other questions please feel free to reach out to me on the ask an expert line otherwise we'll see you again real soon